The following content contains spoilers, so please be advised. You can leave now. Or stay, because I will spoil the shit out of this. I'm telling you, I will spoil it. Vin Vin Staples new show just dropped the Vin Staples show. Um six episodes. <laughs> okay, it's really, really crazy. It's a crazy show about a black half famous, half rich uh, rapper who's portrayed by Ben Staple, who's his real name. So it's a bit complicated, and the, of course the beginning says this is purely active fiction, it's not based on real events, but he's using his real name, and this girl is fine on the show, I gotta say. Anyway, uh, it does that. It's really odd. It's witty, it's whimsical, it's dramatic, it's very odd. Like, let me just go on to spoil it. There's a scene where Vince is in a bank. He went to the bank to ask to you know to get a bank loan for his business. And while at the bank, a couple some of his homies, old friends like that, robbed the bank. Now, usually what you expect is for my man Vince to pretend to not know these niggas when they pretend when they know him or call him out. But he he's like, oh my nigga, what's up? He started dabbing up these niggas in a bank, which was crazy. And then he started walking like he owned the place, making coffee, just balling. Even having time to open the safe and find out the bank had already been robbed some by other, some other niggas. And he's like, man, I've been in this bank for too long. Let me get out of here. So he takes another guy who's a bank manager as a hostage, you know, as the two as a hostage just getting released. And while they're walking out, this bank manager gets shot in the head because he was reaching for a handkerchief in his pocket and got shot in the head. And we don't know what happens with Vince. Because Vince is black. Did the police arrest him thinking he's part of the burglary? What's the story? Do the witnesses uh, reveal like this nigga was walking around, he knew all these bank robbers? Does that happen? Nope. Vince just goes home. To his girl, where she asked him, How was your day? He was like, Ah, nothing interesting happened. And he sat there with his girl, which is crazy. I get the idea of it. Like, niggas go through some hard shit on a daily basis, and sometimes you just gotta go home and just chill with your girl. You don't be like, Oh my god, maybe you don't believe this, man. I was arrested for speeding, and after that, I was in a bank robbery. And after that, a nigga tried to shoot me because he called white boys shit. And I was with my family, and they were crazy as fuck. No, just be like, Nothing interesting happened. That takes guts. I guess niggas ain't supposed to show emotion. Well, the show is crazy, though. Crazy. First episode, my nigga gets arrested. And then from getting arrested, it just goes downhill. Gets involved in a police, gets involved in a bank robbery where he knows the bank robbers, but is not part of the robbery. He meets with, oh, Rick Ross makes an appearance on this shit. I forgot to say that. Rick Ross makes an appearance on the show. He's the only celebrity that I know of. Like I knew instantly, like I didn't have to look up. Of course I knew Vince Staples, because I, I, I love his music. Which is not relevant to the show. Uh, how do I rate this? Did I laugh? I laughed a lot. I laughed when he was in jail and that nigga kept singing. <laughs> and he was annoyed the whole time. I laughed when he was in the bank while he was getting robbed. Oh man, that shit was funny as hell. I laughed when he was at the Surf World, what is Surf World, whatever theme amusement park that was, when he was getting jumped by them dudes wearing the uh, character costumes and shit, uh, some character called Dude, I don't know why they jumped him, but they jumped him. The thing with the show is, it leaves you on a bunch of fucking cliffhangers. I don't like it for that only reason. Yeah, what happens? The only part I feel like ended is when he went to prison or jail rather where he spent a couple of hours in jail there's an ending there he was released but that's not it when did he drop his gun by a, by the hedges of someone's gate 
When did he do that? This car got towed. They didn't even show him getting it back, but that's irrelevant. Could we end up seeing him with a car? I feel like the show was purposely made to piss me off. In the sense that they just leave him a bunch of cliffhangers. Like, why was White Boy trying to kill him? In the end, did he kill him? Well, he, in the news they said there was one fat fatality. That means he killed him. Why was he trying to kill him? And if he killed him, why is he getting arrested? That's just crazy. And what happened at the, at the family gathering, family reunion? I saw his girl punch her girl in the face. Did the mother not love her more? How did that end? Damn you, Vince. Fuck you for that. Fuck you for that. Leaving him in a bunch of cliffhangers. Anyway, folks, I think you should watch this. It's entertaining. It's new. It's, a new, it's edgy. I've never seen anything like it before. Where they leave you in cliffhangers on purpose and you gotta fill out the blanks yourself. Uh, I don't think I'm doing this justice at all. Okay, um, what I will say is, um, let me get a little closer to the mic like we're seducing it. What I will say is, it's pretty interesting. I laughed a lot, so I think you will too. Uh, we get to see Vince uh, in an acting capacity, and he's pretty good, decent. And the great thing about this, he wrote a couple of these episodes. Yes, he um he created the show but he wrote a couple of episodes so that shows the level of creativity he and donald glover in the terms of the acting world they got that sauce not a lot of actors or our rappers got that sauce but yeah donald glover or Charles gambino if you want to call him Vince staples they got the sauce and i enjoyed this i really did I just feel like uh, I wanted more from it. Hopefully, it's the second season, but knowing Netflix, I don't think they will be. Uh, it was pretty cool. And even if there's no second season, I hope everybody watches it because it was really entertaining. Pissed off, though. Very pissed off that the events left me on a lot of cliffhangers. Like, I want to know, man, what happened? What happens next? But that, that damn, that girl was fine as fuck. God damn. God damn, I should give me a mixed girl too. God damn, that girl was fine as fuck. I can't believe Vince is fucking that. I know it's on a show, but God damn, Vince. Ooh, she was fine as fuck. I like her eyes too. I'm kind of fixated on the wrong thing here. <laughs> Let me get out of here, man, before I start saying that's stupid. <laughs> Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.